Dr. Shaw, you have a patient that comes into your office newly diagnosed with DLBCL, maybe from their, or they've heard it from their primary care provider. They understand, they've looked stuff on the internet, diffuse, yeah. large B-cell lymphoma. They see the <laughs> lymphoma. I would anyway, I see lymphoma yeah. and I know it's cancer. What's included in your initial evaluation? How do you explain in basic terms to a newly diagnosed patient what DLBCL is? Yeah, uh, great question, Lisa. Um, I think that anytime somebody gets that diagnosis with a cancer label on it, it's incredibly overwhelming. And so uh, what I try to do when I see my new patients is first simply just learn about them. Um, how did this come about? Um, you know, what symptoms led to this diagnosis? Uh, learn about their past medical history, which impacts how I might treat them and what options I'm going to give them and, and sort of learn about who they are a little bit, you know, um, learn about their family, what they do for a living, because I think those are important uh, values to know about your patients when trying to make a treatment decision. Uh, what I try to explain to these patients is that DLBCL, yes, it is a cancer. Yes, it is unfortunately an aggressive cancer, one that can be very rapidly growing. But uh, unlike a lot of cancers, it is a curable type of cancer. And I really try to highlight that. You know, like all cancers, unfortunately, not every single patient is cured with diffuse large B-cell lymph lymphoma. But initially, I think there's reason to have optimism and hope because the goal is uh, for me, when I meet a new DLBCL patient, to provide a curative intent uh, treatment approach for them. As part of that initial evaluation, um, we need to know more about where their disease is. And in, in lymphoma, we often use a PET CT, which is a special type of scan that sort of lights up areas that can be involved with lymphoma. Um, in some cases, we do a bone marrow biopsy, although that is less indicated now because of how good the PET scans are. And then we talk about other testing. You know, a lot of the chemotherapies can cause problems to your heart. So we often do an ultrasound of your heart to make sure it's healthy enough uh, to be able to tolerate some of the regimens that we consider for this disease. And, and then we talk about access in terms of how are we gonna get the chemotherapy into the patient and, and whether or not they would need a, a device like a port. But, but the main focus of the conversation is explaining the disease, teaching about the disease, um, and focusing on that, unlike other cancers, even stage three or four diffuse large B-cell lymphoma um, is a curable entity. And, and the key is moving promptly, getting the workup done um, in an efficient but complete manner, and then initiating a treatment plan. Great. Thank you. And if you had one tip for patients when they first come in, what would yeah. you tell this patient that's coming yeah. to see you? I think my activation tip... Uh, would be to you know learn as much as they can about this diagnosis and uh, you know take notes because I know that often patients uh, in that first visit you know don't really register everything um, you know just because they're feeling overwhelmed. Mm -hmm.